Hey, Stephen Young here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts, with a 1966 Plymouth Satellite that's been given a GTX Tribute makeover. Now you gotta remember that the satellite arrived in 1965 and was in production through the 1974 model year. Uh, this is a second generation satellite. Again, 65, it's a one year car. But uh, these 66s were Plymouth's highest level of the B body platform above the Belvedere. Now, the GTX didn't arrive until 1967, but that didn't stop someone from transforming this one into a GTX Tribune. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I like the color on this one, it's kind of got a Carcraft magazine vibe to it, so a little bit of flair and a little bit of restoration molded together. We call this one a Resto Mod. Uh, we come to the front bumper on this beautiful chrome. The grill and the anodized is all in very nice condition. These things are hard to find when you need them. So again, no dings or donks or anything like that happening. It's pretty, pretty nice. Now, we look here, we see 383, and that would indicate there ought to be a big block under the hood, and we'll open it and find out. Now, you gotta remember too that 66 was the first year for the street Hemi. Well, we don't have a street Hemi under the hood here because that would say 426, and I'd have known about that before. So, let us now open. Yeah, okay, there it is, 383. Uh, a little bit of day two action going on, the Direct Connection Roadrunner style chromed air cleaner uh, with the Commando 10 on top, Mopot Performance and cast aluminum valve covers. Uh, manifolds done up in heat resistant paint, no problem there. Uh, manual brakes up front, and again, 66 would have had a single circuit master. This is a double, which is okay by me. So it's a 67 style upgrade. It's manual brakes, nothing wrong with that. Give you a good workout. Power steering, good to see. And factory air conditioning. Uh, it has the original style top tank radiator with a steel uh, fan shroud. So uh, almost certainly an original air conditioning car. Again, this fan shroud is a pretty rare piece uh, when you need to find one, this item right here. It's made out of steel and uh, good to see that. The engine bay is painted body color, which is the proper presentation and crisply done. Just really nice, uh, you know, no lumpiness, no, no nasty paint. Looks good top and bottom. In fact, we'll talk more about the underside of this car. It's also painted this beautiful yellow color. As we move along, we'll see it has American Racing Torque Thrust Ds, front and rear, and of course those disc brakes that we mentioned. Those are add-ons. Those are early 70s uh, Dodge pieces which bolt right on. This would have had drum brakes, no discs until 67 on any uh, B-body Mopar, but no harm in adding them. Now this is a satellite, which means uh, it's a two-door hard Top. The satellite was not available as a four-door or a wagon or a pillar sedan uh, in 1966. They were all hardtops or convertibles. And uh, this one has the bucket seats and a four-speed inside. That's a nice thing to see. That's the A833 four-speed manual transmission. Console in the middle is factory equipment. Nice to see it. And that four-speed is a tough piece. Those are uh, fully capable of handling Hemi power. And, uh, and again, nothing like a four-speed manual to connect the driver and the car. In the back, the satellite logo there is certainly part of the satellite. It emulates the look of a four-bucket seat car. Uh, and again, the satellite was the sportiest Plymouth Belvedere until you get into 67 when the GTX took the, uh, the mantle uh, as the top dog in the world of uh, B-body uh, Plymouths. So let's take a peek at the back. <clears throat> Gotta love when they put the, uh, the fuel filler right here on the driver's side. You turn this and there is your filler for the gas. Kind of a cool touch. And again, standard equipment on all 1966 Plymouths, even the Slant 6 Belvedere 1. Nice little detail. Now the quarter panels on this are very nice. Not sure if we can get it underneath here, but the extensions, the tabs, all this stuff here is present and accounted for. Sometimes you'll find cars with, you know, thick Bondo and stuff. This is all steel. The inner and outers are really nice. Uh, and once again, the rear wheel is another one of those American Racing Torque Thrust Ds. And uh, drum brake on the back. That's, I believe, an 11-incher, I think. Big brake. 
drums, nothing wrong with drums. The discs up front do most of the work anyway, so uh, it's a disc drum combination, no problem there. At the back of the car, the trim panel here for the satellite is correct and in really nice condition. These are often dinged and uh, showing signs of trouble, but so too are the tail light lenses, the frames, all of this, not too much in the way of pitting, uh, looking good. And one thing I think that is likely original to this car, Rex Keeling, Gadsden, Alabama. I'm going to bet this is an Alabama car, <clears throat> and that would say dry and rust-free. And to prove that point, this trunk is in nice condition. The original trunk floor appears to be present and accounted for. This is not a uh, reproduction. It has the rubber uh, holes, events, drains, I should say. And uh, the underside of the spare tire, well, it's screwed down, but if we have the camera go down low, we can see that the yellow body paint extends to the underside of the car, including the floor. And this right here is often full of pepper and holes, not here, on this very likely Alabama-sourced car. So, uh, you know, a nice, nice piece. The, the paint on this is a little bright, but that's okay. Being a resto mod, there's no harm in drawing attention to yourself and your car. So that's the story of this 1966 Plymouth Satellite GTX Tribute, 383 four-speed transmission, torque thrust mags, day two stuff. And uh, to see more, you can check it out on the High Octane Classics website. And keep in mind, this car can be purchased with as little as 10% down. And High Octane Classics does consider trades, late models, other customs, classics, muscle. It's all on the table. Bring it out. They'll talk with you about it. And, of course, uh, delivery is possible anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. So to learn more about this car, check it out on the High Octane Classics website.